Uh, so on here, this is the dashboard at the left on the left side. If you guys don't see this menu right here, if you want to press the three bars, this will pop up and show you all these options. But on the dashboard, you will see pretty much um, you're, you're going to see a lot of information and think of the dashboard as your newspaper where you get to see everything that's been going on. Maybe all the tasks that you still need to do uh, or that you set yourself to do. Uh, people who have <clears throat> visit, visited your website, people who have emailed you or texted you or tried to call your smart number. So all of that cool stuff will actually pop populate right here at the bottom under the activity tab okay and you can break it down into you know and see exactly what you're trying to see that day so if you click on the activity tab you can scroll through this uh, drop down right here and uh more people coming in let's see admit all right so on here you can scroll through you know specific things you want to see Maybe you just want to answer questions on a particular day. So you're going to press the drop down, click on questions, and then on here, you'll get to see all the questions everyone's been asking you. Uh, or you can click the shortcut buttons here to go through some popular areas. So any new leads that have showed up based on, you know, them visiting your website or calling your smart number or texting your smart number will pop up here. Any new text from anyone will pop up here, new emails, uh, hot leads, any properties that people have been looking at uh, will all populate here. So let me scroll down here. So these little squares you see, so each of these are basically, you know, let's take this one for example. So eight hours ago, John Porras uh, clicked on my website and he viewed a listing. And so I know exactly what he was looking at, kind of what he's looking for. And based on the information I have on John, I'm able to email him or maybe send him a video through email. And we have Julio here a day ago, also visited my website, checked out this property. I have more information about Julio, so I can decide to follow up with him based on what he did through email. I can call, video, or text him. And you can kind of scroll through these see what's been going on and follow up with people every day. So make sure you're familiar with this section because you get to see everything that's happening at the moment. On the top side right here, you have three different sections. Uh, KV Core will suggest certain things you need to do to you know, maybe build your pipeline, get seller leads. And then they have this thing called the marketplace where you can purchase extra features, uh, maybe whether that be, um, you know, hiring, uh, outsourcing, people calling your contacts. There's a bunch of cool things you can purchase in the marketplace. I didn't mess with any of the paid, you know, extras just yet, but they have a bunch of cool stuff on there. Maybe we'll browse through those, uh, but that's what the marketplace is. Um, the middle section with the playbooks, which we'll be uh, mostly talking about today, we have three playbooks available. You can do the promoter listing playbook, you can gather your sphere of influence or you can work your sphere of influence. So the bottom two right here are kind of interlocked because you cannot work your sphere without gathering your sphere. And we'll be walking through that today mainly, okay? But that's what this is right here. So it's a shortcut to your playbooks. Uh, you can access playbooks through here or you could just click on the playbooks button at the on the left-hand side right here. And this last column, this is um, a place you could go to for extra training on KV Core. This is a hosted by the KV Core team, I assume. Uh, you can click here for courses, uh, maybe live streams and webinars. I have not done any of these, but I'm sure they're pretty great. So this is kind of where you would go if you want to, on your own time, maybe learn some of the stuff they have on there. So yeah, this is the basic overview of the dashboard. And at the very top right here, this is... Um, if KV Core has any announcement, you'll kind of see that on there. So yeah, that's that. And let's go over the top options really quickly. Let's see, let me push this aside. So on here, this is the marketplace. Let me just click there just so you see what it looks like. It has a bunch of um, 
cool things you could play around with. Property boost is something you can use to um, advertise a, a listing you have through Facebook uh, and other social media platforms, but it's paid. Uh, I have noticed that most paid things have an orange icon or maybe a green icon. So if it's all blue, chances are it's included in KV Core. If it has funny colors, I noticed that they're always paid. So uh, I have not played around with any of these, maybe a little bit with Property Boost, but everything else is pretty much paid for. So if you want to tamper with any of those or, or check out what they are, just feel free to read the descriptions and learn more and get it added on for an extra fee. Okay, so that's what the marketplace looks like. And it'll have descriptions for all of those. So I'm going to go back here. So quick actions. So under this tab right here, you can add a contact manually. So this is just a shortcut to do that. You can call a specific person, add a note to a specific contact. You can create a task. You can even make blog posts, which is pretty cool. Or you can also send an email to someone straight from the quick actions button. And then these two right here. So the first one here, this is a... Uh, this will show you your messages. So if you do any uh, changes to your account or if someone sends you an email, any of your contacts, it tends to populate right here. This one is also a notifications tab, but it's more so for tasks, okay? So anything that you need to do for the day, uh, it'll show here. So I have to call all these people that still do today uh, and the people who are past due and tasks that are past due will show up here. So that's what this section is. And then on here, this uh, last button right here, just kind of shows everything you've been up to so you can see the history of uh, the changes you've made. And then here we already know this um, is your KV core settings. So at the top here, I don't know if you got to talk much about the smart number, but this number is very important. Uh, briefly, just to go over what it does. So. Think of the smart number as your work number, okay? This is the number that will show when you use KV Core to call anyone. It's not going to show your personal number. This is the one that will show. Now, you will get assigned a smart number upon uh, setting up KV Core, but by default, that number is set to change. I don't remember how often it changes, but that number is not the one you have forever you actually need to pay for a subscription to have your own smart number that you get to keep. And I I don't play around with a lot of paid features on KV Core, but this one, I personally recommend because the thing is, if you send out any type of advertisement or you, know, you call a lot of clients using your smart number, one day it's gonna change because it's not assigned to you forever. So make sure that you're okay with always having a new smart number or if not i recommend you opt in for the paid subscription i think it's 27 dollars a month and you get to keep that and it's really powerful because with that same smart number anyone who calls it texts it or you know pretty much interacts with it in any way it will tell uh, kv core on the back end who that person is and it's always going to be the same number so it makes it a little bit easier to manage, in my opinion. So that's what that is, okay? And what happens when you don't have the paid subscription and someone reaches out to the number and you don't pick up? I believe it gets routed, it gets channeled through all of the agents within your brokerage. So I could have this smart number today and tomorrow maybe Misty could have this uh, smart number, okay? So it's not necessarily attached to you forever. It'll just kind of cycle through all the agents unless you have your own, um, you know, paid for smart number. So that's what that is. At the bottom here, this is your brokerage email. So that's my first and last name at eXp. And then below that, with the little world icon, this is your eXp website. So when you click on this, it will actually open up your eXp Realty website. I'm going to show you guys what mine look like. And you can customize all of this. It's pretty cool. Um, later down the line, I also want to talk about the website a little more and how you can go ahead and customize all that stuff, make it look nice. 
Uh, they do not come like this. They come in a different template. I kind of change things around, change the colors. But this is what your KV Core website will look like. And this is at no additional fee. It just comes with, at least with the EXP package, we get the website for free also. And uh, yeah, you can change all these texts and, you know, change it to your liking, change the photos, how everything is arranged. So it's pretty cool. And this is that little about section that I was telling you guys about. So that will actually show on your website. Okay. And all of this you can change within the settings, but this is uh, kind of what that looks like. How did you get to your website again? From the yes. For sure. I'm going to go back here. So to get to your website on the KV Core um, application, you want to go to the top right where you, you see your name. You're going to click on there and it'll have your website under your email. Okay. So you can just click on that to go to the website, or you can just type in the link and, and end up in the same place. Okay. It should be, if you're with eXp, should be your first name, last name, dot exprealty.com. Okay. And that will only work after you've set up KV Core because it, it's, it comes as one package. Okay. So that's how you access that. Uh, let me make sure there's no questions in the chat. Oh, we're looking good. Awesome. So these first three, your smart number, your brokerage email, your EXP or KV Core website. This is your profile. We are already familiar with this. And the rest here is basically shortcut to, you know, maybe other agents, your lenders that you have in your system. If you're in a team, you can click here and see kind of, you know, what your team looks like. Uh, the offices for me is going to be EXP Realty. Your website, you can have more than one website, but the one that's going to be integrated with KV Core is um, your brokerage one. Okay. So you can have your personal website listed also, but it's uh it's just gonna be it's just gonna be there as an extra thing people can click on on your website, but it's not gonna be um uh, at the front forefront of your website. Uh yeah, lead routing. I have not used lead routing. Let's check out the phone really quickly. So yeah, this when we I just clicked my name and then on phone. So this right here will actually show what who had what smart number in your brokerage. Because I I'm paying for mine, mine will always stay like this. Ooh, I'm so sorry, guys, my window's open. <laughs> um I'm paying for my own smart number, so it's never going to change. But if you were not, this is kind of you know what the change in smart numbers look like. You can kind of keep track of what smart number was associated with your brokerage. So as you can see, it changes a lot. So when you want to make sure you have something consistent, I would recommend, but if not, it's definitely not mandatory. Okay. And you can purchase that smart number on here. You can just click the buy number and then it'll walk you through the payment process and then you'll have your own. And uh, all of these other fields, self-explanatory, agents, that's me, uh, the lenders. You can look for specific lenders. I believe these are lenders within our brokerage. When you start typing it, it'll suggest the person's name, but I don't know any of them. I know my own lender. And then teams. I'm not part of a team, so nothing's going to show here. Offices. So this is my office, so EXP Realty of California. And then websites right here. So this will show the EXP website itself. And at the bottom, this is my KV Core website. And through here, th there's shortcuts to your site overview and your site settings. So you could go ahead and tweak that. Okay, but we're not gonna do too much website stuff today. I really wanna uh, take a look at the playbooks with you guys. Uh, and then phone, we've already seen this guy. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. <clears throat> 